Hello, welcome to Cardell. Today on the show, I'm gonna be going over the M8 Competition Convertible. We're gonna drive it. I'm gonna go in depth on some details about it and the features, as well as the look on the outside. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and like below. Let's dive in. First thing you'll notice is the 4.4 liter, 617 horsepower, twin turbo V8 that you just heard. Sounds really good. Really, really, really good. Better than the i4. The exhaust you can open and close with the hit of this button down here. So if you do want it to be toned down, it's not a problem. This one comes featured with the Bowers and Wilkins stereo which is a $7,000 option. It also has uh, adaptive cruise control, so it'll drive itself on the freeway. It has heated and cooled ventilated seats. It's a very powerful car. This one also comes equipped with the leather dashboard. Heads up display in the windshield will tell you how fast you're driving as well as what the speed limit is on the street that you're driving on. These buttons that you see here on the steering wheel are M1 and M2. Those are your M presets. So when you start out the car, it has the engine, transmission, suspension, steering, and braking all in efficient or comfort. Basically, the most toned down version of this car. But if you hit M1 or M2, you can have them set whichever way you'd like, and you can put them all the way up into Sport, or Sport Plus beyond that. You can even make this car rear-wheel drive rather than all-wheel drive and get pretty sideways on the racetrack. It's really, really fast. They made this M8 competition all-wheel drive because the predecessor to this was the M6. And though BMW doesn't acknowledge the M8 as a sequel to the 6 Series, it really was. For the person buying the 6 Series, they often, next car they'll get is an 8 Series. And the M6 was rear wheel drive, 565 horsepower, and BMW quickly figured out that that's a lot of horsepower for a car with a front engine that's rear wheel drive. Not that the M6 was a bad car, it performed amazing on and off the track. It was an amazing, very powerful coupe, but it was too powerful. The rear end, it got a little scary at times, and it's a really exciting car, but it's also, it can be a very scary car as well. Even just casually driving around, this is such a smooth car. The steering's very tight, as you'd want your BMW M car to be. And it's just as much luxury as it is sporty but it's also it's like two different personalities it's not luxury and sporty all in the same second it's like you hit sport mode and boom it's some other animal I like it so first thing you'll notice on the interior is everything's leather doors are leather the dashboards leather steering wheels leather it's and it's really nice leather this one has is equipped with a heated um, neck scarf, they call it. These M8 logos actually light up on both sides here. Heated and cooled seats. You can open and close the exhaust with this button here. Setup will help you set up engine, transmission, suspension, brakes, all being able to adjust them from efficient, sport, all the way up to sport plus. You can also adjust here, these little three bars, your shift speeds and it'll also shorten your gear ratio and it'll cause you to rev a lot higher um, if you're in automatic. Of course, if you're in paddles, you can shift and choose whichever gear you wanna be in. Auto start stop, this car comes equipped with, which is kinda of silly because it does burn fuel, but you can adjust that and you can actually have the engine shut off at stoplights. Parking assistance has surround view 3D camera. This car will even park itself in parallel parking as well as pulling into a spot which is really amazing. Um, 
you also can turn traction control off. We don't recommend doing that on anything but a racetrack. Digital dashboard up there. We'll also show you a little map in the center, as well as a map up here on the main screen. Safety features. You have blind spot detection in the mirrors, braking intervention in case you're coming up on a row of cars on the freeway and you're not paying attention, steering intervention if you want the car to steer for you on the freeway and keep you centered in your lane. Um, yeah, this thing is fully loaded. This one here is MSRP is $158,000. Even the mirror flap thing, I don't know what this is called, is made out of leather. This key will start the car, as well as unlock and lock the car. Now let's go over the exterior features. First thing you'll notice, the M8 Competition door seal looks good and sporty. Our proud sponsor, BMW Encinitas. They're the house of all M cars, Alpinas, if you're in the market. They're in North County, San Diego. Carbon fiber mirror caps, carbon fiber gills here on the door, jet black wheels with the red M brake calipers. Like I was saying, these brakes are really, really good. Over here is the BMW laser lights. They're blue. Carbon fiber down here. Carbon fiber down here. And a carbon fiber grill. This one has the carbon exterior package. The reason why you're hearing that vent going is because we just drove and the car's cooling down. The sporty front end of an M car is beautiful. We all love it. This one is Brands Hatch Gray Metallic really cool color, one of my favorites. It's got the same gray as Dravit gray, but a uh, more silver metallic rather than a gold metallic. Over here to the back. We have carbon fiber again down here in the rear diffuser. Of course the quad exhaust, classic on the M8, and a carbon fiber rear spoiler. Trunk space. This is, of course, with the top down. Plenty of room. I think it's got plenty of room for a convertible, I would say, definitely. With the top up, you can definitely fit golf clubs in there. With the top down, you might be able to fit two sets of golf clubs. Hit that button, and it closes. Thank you for watching today's show on Cardell. My name's Clark Rydell, and I wanted to say that this M8 competition is amazing. This is a fun car. If you're thinking about this over a Porsche, you should definitely go test drive one. Please like, comment, subscribe below. Thank you Ludmila Vodivska for editing and enjoy the rest of your day.